Welcome back, it's Christine again with The Artist Pod, and today we're going to talk about how to draw a burrowing owl. So, let's get arting. Alright, so here is the burrowing owl, and we're just going to get started. So burrowing owls have a couple different colors to them. They have white, and they have kind of a lighter brown, and then a darker brown. So, uh, a bit easier to fill in than the... Um, Great Horned Owl. And so, you know, you, I draw feathers very much the same way I draw fur. And it still kind of creates the same effect. So it's still those overlapping lines as I'm getting all the, that direction sort of sorted out. And then their beaks and eyes are yellow. All right, so... Now that it's all sketched in, I'll say the light source is coming from over here. And let's do it. Now owls' faces tend to be a bit flat, so the highlight is going to go further over than they would typically on, on other animals. But uh, burrowing owl, um, their, their eyes are kind of recessed past the um, beak, right? So there'd be a little shadow kicking in on the back side of the beak and potentially where their eyes are settling in, and then underneath their beak as well. But just like fur, you know, at this point now I'm applying the harder pin pressure. At the bottom I opted to sort of taper it off, that helped me control where the um, highlight was going. But it also can sometimes make it an easier transition, um, since with birds, there's, I'm not just drawing the head, I'm going a little past. So as I bring it down, I need to um, taper that off so it's not as harsh an ending. And then again, you know, with the light source, you know, a, a highlight is actually in the middle of something. It's not on the edges. So even though that top right edge is in uh, highlight, that very far edge is going to be in shadow because that's how um, we indicate a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional plane. And then uh, I get to his eyes. Again, it's yellow. Being mindful of the light source. I don't fill in all the way in the circle. I typically don't. I did on the Great Horned Owl, but I um, did not with the Burrowing Owl. And I just have to be careful to feather it out. The eye on the left should be a little darker than the eye on the right because it's the one that's furthest away. And then that little light flare is one of the most important things to add because that's what really makes it look like it's alive. Alright, so that is how you do a burrowing owl. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.